Hello, I am Shay, and you're watching Born Again Nerd. Today's episode, guys, I just got back from vacation, so that's why I've been kind of uh, not online as much. Um, I did get some really awesome stuff to show you guys. Um, I'm in the process of moving my studio to a different room and to a different computer, because right now I'm working off of a laptop, an Apple laptop, and it's getting a little bogged down with all these videos on it. So, um, but... I have something here I have to show off because it's just too important. I just got it. It's brand new. I haven't really had a lot of time to play with it, but I had enough to give out a, a really good simple review and then, so this will be part one because um, there's just so much to cover and since I'm still new on YouTube, I can only go 15 minutes. I have to get to a thousand subs before I can go past that 15 minute mark. At least I think that's true. So without further ado, <laughs> let's check out this unit. Okay, so this is a well. There's not really a brand to it, but I will show you in the in the paper documentation I get. So I got this here. This came in a case like this. So this guys is a CM a retro CM3 high unit. Okay. Uh, for what I understand, forgive me on the technical stuff, guys. I'm not really all that familiar with all the techie stuff. I will be learning all that soon as I move forward through this journey. But just trust me that I, I for my research, I believe it's running a Pi 3 Plus, and that and it's been shortened. So this has been designed by an engineer. That uh, I'll put the name somewhere who actually designed this design. Now, I know that you can build the, these units yourself. You can, if you have a 3D printer, you can do a free play CM3. You can buy the kits for it. You can, you know, but I don't have a 3D printer or any of that fancy stuff. So I saw this online. I bought this on AliExpress. Okay, so this right here is, I picked a blue and black because I really like the, the, you know, the colors. This is what it came with. It came with the case. Now, obviously, I've already opened, I already pre-opened it. This is the manual that it came with. Now, I, for 100, I paid $150 for this thing, guys. Um, I don't know what the current price is now, currently, because I got this when it first was being offered publicly. Um, so it's kind of an introductory price, but... Um, I think it's going for like $199. I'm not sure. I will put links in the description for more information if you want to check it out. Check the pricing. But anyway, this is the tape, the instructions that it came with. Uh, most of it uh, seems very much hard to read, obviously. Um, I don't know if my camera will focus on. There you go. Um, so, but it does have some of the information that I need to know, like transplant. I mean, it actually literally says transplant somewhere here. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing. I know you guys are, sorry about the dust. I think it has an extra screen protector on here. I just have not taken it off. Um, so this is your USB plug-in. This is your power button. R and left buttons. Um, it does have a heat sink in the back there. It does get a little warm. There's a headphone jack there. It does not do TV out, which is fine. Um, and then these are the buttons. They feel really good. This is a a knob that uh, I think it, was, it came off of a Vita. I don't know. It advertised it. So without further ado, though, let's turn the sucker on so you guys can see firsthand what it does. I'm learning how to do RetroPie. I'm very new to it. But if you are new to it and you don't know how to set it up yet, it's pro I recommend that you do do your research. Go and look and see how to do it. I do have a GPI case with a Pi Zero. W that I will be reviewing soon. I have to build it. So, but first things first, I want to get this thing out. Let the folks know that this is available and my first impressions of this thing. So, buttons are great. Um, they're nice and, and got good travel, good grip. That's what I call it, good grip. Um, buttons are pretty decent. 
Um, kind of similar to uh, an original unit, but not as quite as spectacular as that, but it's fairly close. Um, the plastic here in the casing is okay. It's better than, and than some, uh, some of the other units that I've had. Um, so a, a size comparison, guys, um, I'll do that real quick here. I do, oh, I moved it, so forgive me. Oh, I gotta reach. So here are some size comparisons. This is a pink DS light, so just kind of give you an idea. And then here's the pocket go. Okay, so now you get an idea of how big this thing is, okay? It's a little bit bigger than the LDK, um, kind of consi mm, considerably, you know, but not as wide as a, you know, a, a DS light. Here's a Game Boy Color, just in case you want it. Kind of size compare, again, some more. Okay, um, so yeah, it fits in your hand nicely. It's cool. it's pretty cool. Okay, so gameplay. Now um, this video is gonna be shortened because I I want to just give first impressions now, and then I want to read the comments below and now and tell me what uh, you know what you want to see because I really honestly don't know. So this out of the box, this is what comes up is uh, a nice menu layout of some different uh, emulators here. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do, also, so it's a main Master System Genesis in Nintendo 64. It truly, it does play some 64 games. Some. Okay, I haven't tried all of them, but I did kind of tinker with the Mario 64. It played it. Uh, there was a little bit of glitchy with the sound and a little bit of a frame drop on it, but maybe that's just a settings thing. I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, we're gonna hop into PlayStation. The camera will focus. So today I am going to be picking up a newer webcam, so I have an additional webcam going. Because it's not focusing right now, it's being a pain. I think it's the gloss. It does have an IPS screen. You can view it in a lot of angles. It's really, really nice. So I'm gonna do arcade mode. Just the guys do give you a hit. Oh, I left my light on, the ceiling on. Okay, here we go. No lag. No lag at all. It's playing it really, really nicely. Oh, dang it. I am not good at this game. I... Oh, God. I suck at this game. You know, fighting games are fun. I remember Mortal Kombat coming out and playing that, and I just could not get it. I could not. I won that one. That was amazing. It's a miracle. Yay! I win! I never win! Come here, you. You gotta stop talking to my boyfriend. Oh, go get your own boyfriend or girlfriend. Actually, in my case, it'd be girlfriend because I'm married to a, a woman. So I just added myself. Oh well. Oops. No secret in this. I, you know, I, I made fun of my, my uh, last name back in the day, and I'm not gonna say what it is. Sorry. <laughs> Come on now! Quit talking to my girlfriend! She's mine! Actually, that's really wrong. You don't, you know, hey, if you're talking to my girlfriend and she likes you, then that's okay. I'll go find someone that wants to be with me. But, here you go. I don't know what girls would fight about. What would girls fight about? Um, usually it's boyfriends. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going up against Paul. Why am I having a beef with Paul? Hmm. He took my girlfriend. <laughs> you bad boy, you. You took my girlfriend. I kick you in the face. Oh, no. He, he nailed me down. Okay, good for you, Paul. Oh 
what else could you know I'd be mad at Paul for? Hmm. Drawing a blank. Maybe he maybe he uh totaled my car or something. I doesn't I, I yeah, he would be that kind of guy he just kicked my butt. He just totally kicked my butt. Okay, so that's uh, taken three guys, and uh, there's a lot more on this unit that I can show off. Um, like I said, I want to keep this uh, quick and dirty, quick and easy, so that uh, I can do more. Okay, all right, so I'm out of here for now. Whoa.